I'd like to just welcome you. We've been working together for a four weeks and I would just like to hear a little bit about your background and how, what was going on for you, what your role was and where you're at now as a result. Yeah, so I have been working for a large a Fortune 500 in a company for almost 17 years this month. And I was in a place where I was really set up. Right. I, we had been going through major restructures, transitions, lots of people in across our enterprise getting let go. I was a market director responsible for three different geographies, very tough population, very difficult, low social determinant in the population is very difficult to manage for their health. Since with the restructure that is going on in our industry, it required consolidation and getting rid of a lot of extra resources and positions. The leadership was not supportive. I was letting that negative energy really put me in a place where I was stuck and I couldn't find the right tools and resources to get out of that feeling stuck. Um, and I knew that I was capable of more and I had done more to get to the point where I even got to. Also, I wasn't living to the maximum ability that I, I knew that I could, given that the structure had just changed and it was what it was. And so it was a constant, uh, having leaders that dangled care at. None of those things came to fruition. And I think in hindsight, now what I'm achieving and manifesting, I, I realized that at the time I was allowing myself to be stuck and I was letting them put me in that place. And I knew it wasn't right. And I knew that I was destined to be for more. I knew just in our first one and two meetings, there was something different here. I was already starting to feel the shift in me where I knew because I'm a big picture, commonsensical girl surrounding myself every day in this beautiful oasis I've created in my backyard where I can just sit there and clear the mind, put positive intent, create the theater that I needed to manifest what was to come in my future. And then it happened. It literally happened. That's one thing I witness with a lot of people is we can't quite believe all this goodness is actually manifesting. So you're exactly. in a couple of weeks and you're still pinching yourself, right? I'm still pinching myself. I was literally just talking to my direct leader before I'm talking to you now. And I feel like my positive energy is a blessing to her. Like it's emanating through me to her and it's helping her who's also going through this toxic culture. And so I feel like at the end of the day, not only for myself, have I generated this positive energy and know that I'm going to be able to impact others. I feel like if I can be a light to others, as some have been to me, and through learning how to use these goals and helping to prepare myself every day, for that positive experience that I know I'm going to have, that's priceless. Like, how do you, like, not want to just wake up every day and want to do that once you feel it and learn it and see it, that it's tangible? That out of the blue, you know, is literally my dream job. It is my dream job with huge increase in salary, which is so much more and I get a good salary in the corporation where I have been for 17 years. Sure. So after our four sessions, you applied for one job mm -hmm. and, yep. and it just happened to be that my first eight years as a company that I currently working for, I worked with this executive managed care VP who saw my resume and was beyond thrilled, knew who I was, and reached out to me directly, which is very unheard of. Usually you'll have the recruiters go first. It was truly the recruiting experience that anybody would want to have. Like I met with the hiring and the recruiter was just constantly along with the hiring selling me the benefit and the company. 
and what it would mean for me to work with them where I only had one question. And that was, why are you interested in this position? That was it. There was no behavioral question. There was no prove your experience and give these solid examples of what you transform. And to be honest, like they sent the resume in part, which I think was a true like reflection of what I've worked so hardcore and the positive energy and vision that I want people to see in myself was they said written to the T of what they were looking for in somebody. Wow, that's amazing. So we redid your resume. You you made one application, you made one interview, and the, you landed the job all within one week. Is that that's correct? That is 100% correct. After that interview, I was told, unless I want to meet again and have questions about the role, it was a one and done interview. And the next day, I was offered the position. They were so excited to offer it to me at 6.30 on a Thursday evening. And what, a 30% salary boost on top of the 40%. 40. 40%. Fantastic. I I shared your story with some other recruiters and HR people. And they said their comment was, everybody has their own journey and this is highly unusual. What's your response to that? I would say that is true to some extent. However... If you can't get past to where somebody is trying to either define you and you allow yourself to get stuck in being defined and not manifest to put your positive best foot forward and be mindful of it every day, you can't make those kinds of leaps, in my opinion, that are lasting. It is quantum leap. I promise the clients I work with Every single one of them has transformative experience in a very short amount of time. I think coupled with, you tell me, quantum tools with taking aligned action, appropriate action. So it's not like you were frenzied and spraying and praying your resume. You got real close first. I got real clear. And, and to put this perspective around it, my researcher and really completely redefined position because it wasn't the position that I accepted two and a half years ago when I got my promotion into the current position. I had worked with some really top resume people for input and advice. And so I had gone through those uh, opportunities in, in different areas for well-renowned places that provide resumes and, and all that stuff. And it wasn't paired with the right energy and the right presentation at the right time. And although I appreciate where some of those folks are coming in from an HR perspective, I do believe that there's more to it. I think it absolutely is. Sure, everybody's got a journey, but if the journey is in well placed with the right mindset, the right tools, and the right focus to put the positive and real you out there. And the secret, in my opinion, is everybody, and we've all been conditioned this way, to put the cart before the horse. We've never considered, let's go yes. back to the beginning and let's rearrange and bring everything into being congruent. Really like having healthy boundaries, knowing yourself, and being open to being completely settled with that and play and really boldly expressing and stepping into it. That's how. And I think the reason why I also shared the one question that was asked of me during the interview is because I didn't have to really prove myself. It was conversational. My energy, my ability, my visionary talents were coming across to this leader to where she knew. Like you couldn't get that from me six months. It's a ago. resonant. There, she was picking it up beyond words. All yeah. those other vibes you were pumping out. Right. What they got when they got the resume. I couldn't do that before because I, I was not in the right place with the right tools and mindset to be able to emanate that and push that out around me. And that's what attracts though. I, I call that is it's like a magnetic force that you get to be theme and all of a sudden the curtains opened or the blinders fell off and they oh my god there she is right that's just 
it's gonna it bonds you right at your core, right? It tugs right at your heart and you feel this freedom and light inside of you that feels like you shed a hundred pounds. Like <laughs> these weights off my shoulders where I feel like I've been suppressed with not emanating that positive energy and light. Where now I feel like it can really it's all around me. Like it's That's it's so coming wonderful. through me. You're just being it. It's not a struggle anymore. We get out of resistance. And that's when it's like everything we do in life becomes a hot knife and butter, right? It becomes a point where, especially I think in mid-career or late career, we start to really wake up and go, I'm killing myself. What the hell for? Where's this getting? Right. That will say too, like it also matters who you're receiving this from. Because I will say... There is a certain genuine sincerity. You know how to do that. And I appreciate that about you to whereas if somebody else might be coming at it with a similar approach, like, I don't know that it would be as well received because you you from the first meeting and I've met with others, it makes a difference. I'm just saying, Amira, it it definitely comes from the right efforts and delivering the information to you. I really appreciate that. What I want to say to that is I think I tell people I've been on my own path for over 40 years. I've been doing this work for 25 years and have over 15,000 coaching hours. I think the difference may be with a lot of people haven't done their own personal work. And yeah. I appreciate your words, but it's a constant journey. It's a constant yes. humility. And I still have a journey, a big journey. Yeah. yeah. It's never ending. But once the other thing is most people will just you download something or try to do it with your mind or your intellect. It's not going to translate the same way when you're guided and it's being integrated for you. That's where you get the lasting. And that's it. continue to repeat the same result. And then when you get off track, then you have some way to get back on because that's nature. Everything that's is true. an ebb and a flow. And so it's learning how to be on that track and uh, And course correct as we need to. I will say one of the things that has really hit home for me in that one question that I was asked in my interview, which was, why are you interested in this position? And my answer to that was, I've had incredible opportunities to work at the national level and all these great innovative things. However, I'm interested in this because I want to work and serve in the community where I live. And for me, that also means taking it a step further to support those that have been like me. And I want to say, look, don't limit yourself. Don't allow yourself to be stuck in a box. You are destined for greater things. And just because you don't check every single box on a job application, the risk. I wouldn't be where I am if I had gotten So I've always felt it. And now I am actually in an energetic space to help people. I hear that from a lot of people that might be in a corporate role and they think they need to become an entrepreneur, but it doesn't matter what role we're in. We can feel help. And I think in this great awakening happening within consciousness around us, more people want to do something that where they feel fulfilled and that they know they're valued and they're compensated rightly for it. So we all go through that. We want to be needed. Yeah. We want to be helping. We don't have to throw out the baby with the bathwater. We can do it wherever we're at. And you're taking right. step in that process. Yeah. And I think it's just going to allow me to live a richer, fuller life because at the end of the day, I've known that has been something that's a calling for me for so long you have to get to a certain point where you can help yourself so you can help others yeah i i'm so thrilled and hey a 40 percent salary increase is just walk right now we're going from big to yeah. bigger reward and, uh, congratulations on that and what i do for fun i have found my singing voice amira oh that's exciting i was be a pro singer I do it now for fun all the time and hobby. I'm just running around seeing everywhere. Fantastic. Because you're happy. It's good for your soul. It's like totally just in its contagious, right? Yeah. Like, you know, the magic of the work we do together is all of a sudden, all of these 
the dreams or hobbies or things really got you turned on and excited about well, the showers being like pumping up, right? Yeah. I love that like analogy. Becomes, yeah, I literally like being in a garden of magic. And so yeah. that's fantastic. Hey, you're doing amazing work and your new employer already demonstrated how excited they are to have you on board. So Thanks, I just wish you so much success with that as you will be creating. Yes, I will. And thank you. Thank you for everything. You're so welcome.